Hello everyone. I think you're going to want to see this video. I've come up with something and it is using what you have around your house, but it has to do with tack it over and over. But uh, yeah, this is a cheap way of doing foil. I will just say it like that. And what I did is I cut out some die cuts and you can buy die cuts. If you don't have die cuts, you can buy them. And I done this one. Put it on here so you can see. It is really, to me, it's, it's pretty. It is really pretty. And I'll show you how to do it. It's very simple. It is not hard. And if you don't have a die cut machine, don't worry, you can buy die cuts. Uh, word die cuts or uh, just about looking thing you want up and you can find die cuts to foil. Okay? Now, so what I did is I just took a brush and put, <laughs> it is tacky. That's the reason it's called tacky. But I haven't tried wood yet, so I want to see if it will work. So let's move these out of the way. Uh, What I did is I cut the center part of the flower and with a, a just a small brown, but you have to put it in paper. If you don't, this foil will not cut. So you just use printer paper, cheap paper, put it in and um, I'll show you like this. And that cuts through the foil. So what you want to do is you want to have the pretty side up. Okay, and I'm not going to mess with that right now. I'm going to use this pretty pink. And what I like to do, and you wouldn't have to do this, is use a roller. My whole table's probably moving. <laughs> I can see that some of my edges are not getting down on that. So take your finger and go in. And we'll pull up. And look up uh, there. Well, let's pull up the other part, too. I might have to get something to get that up with. There we go. So you have to have, you have to have fingernails or either a tool to get that up with. And I'll show you what it looks like. And I hope you can see that, but it is really, really pretty. And you can take, now the ones that I was using, the, uh, I used the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill, foil, and it comes in like this, are the large 12 by 12 sheets. And you can use like designs you've done before. You can put it on there. See if there's any more tacky to it, which I don't think there is. But look at there. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just so pretty. I hope I'm in frame where you can see this. But it's just, and that's wood. 
you can take anything and do that. So let me show you the process because that takes, the glue takes a while to dry and you've got to have it completely dry. So let me show you the process of that. And what I do is I get a piece of wood and I put the Allings tack it over and over and over. I spread it on here real thick and let it sit overnight. And then I stick whatever, you know, it's, it's gonna, that's the reason you use it is cause you can pick it up and put it back down and it stays sticky. So this is what I do. You have some little, um, a container of water. You can just have a cup if you want to. And I don't use the spout. Let me move this out of the way. Keep it with the We Are Memory Keeper one. All right. Yep. And I just take an O brush. You could even use your finger if you want to. And I just paint it on. I just give it a large amount of this and then I sit it somewhere and if you have um, kittens or dogs or something you want it either way you don't <laughs> you don't want them licking this or you know but you just put on a large amount of it and unfortunately this I have to sit a long time before it dries and gets tacky because that's what you want. You want it tacky. So that's how you use it. And then I just stick my brush and my water and that comes off real clean. See, it's already off. So it's kind of water soluble and then I'll just stick my brush try to stick it there we go stick my brush in there but you don't have to have one of those you can have just a regular cut you know don't have to be fancy make sure you get this sticky up so you won't get it all over your other things and sit that out of the way and let it dry. While I'm at it, I make my own drops. The glue dots, I just put them on something that's plastic that you can get off. And there's glue dots that you can make because this will last forever. And if you keep the top on it nice and tight, it's not going to dry up on you but you can make your own glue dots and just sit it somewhere where it can dry overnight and you know works great tell you a little thing of why i thought of this you know i showed you my cricut and i did a cricut uh, opening and reveal while i was using the cricut um i was using this foil transfer kit and I had paper right here and I put it on and it's real um, slippery it'll just fall <laughs> and the static and it fell on that and I thought oh man brand new mat and I remembered something that one of my teachers said I know y'all have heard um, Bob Ross and he said there's no mistakes there's only happy accidents and I was thinking about that and I thought oh this is tacky you know over and over it's tacky you can wash it it'll be tacky again I wonder if tack it over and over will do the same thing so I tried it out so whenever you make a mistake just keep that in mind. There aren't any mistakes. There's only happy accidents. Now you saw it on wood. 
and it worked real good. Where's that wood at? Why did, right here. Oh. So you saw that, and you saw it worked real good. Let's see if it works on paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this blue. I thought it would be kind of neat and pretty. And I like my roller. And like I said, you don't have to do a roller. You can just use your hands. Just kind of go over it. And while it's down there, I will... Now this was the Cricut paper. It does the same. So, uh, let's use gold. Sometimes you can get like two for one. <laughs> See where it doesn't stick on one, you might have a little bit and you can just keep adding. needs pressure I wonder and to be honest you could actually get out your die cut machine if you have uh, like a you know Gemini or um, anything like that and it would really put some pressure on it but I made this and have it because uh, I have wrist problems. Yeah, that works great. <laughs> so, get the black paper so you can see. And now, look at that. So, and it does not come off. It does not rub off on your fingers at all. It does not come off. See there? It is on there. And I think it's just the coolest thing. And I have hearts with a design. So let's see what we can do with it. I'm trying to use different colors. Well, I got a good bit off of that. I'll use that. And that's the thing, you, if you do have a Cricut, or if you have a We Are Memory Keeper foil quill, then whatever you have left over, you could do this with. It works with both. <laughs> and you can tell I've got glue on here because now it's is on there and that is really stuck down I'm trying to, there we are so it doesn't matter what kind of design you have on it but isn't that pretty that would be gorgeous for you know to put on a card for um, Valentine's or anything like that get it stuck off of my fingers all right um, a lot I 
it's kind of like a distress type thing. Now look at that. I think it's just so cool. It's so pretty. And it takes very little, um, you know, it's not real expensive. Um, some of my students, they, you know, they don't have a lot of money. Well, you don't have to with this. You can get a pretty reasonable. So we'll go back to the, oh, you know what? Let's try a different color. This is the We Are Memory Keeper foil. And this is a really pretty. Oh, that's real pretty. It shows up really good. See there? Okay. Now what I've done with it is I want you to see the difference. This is Go Flakes, and you can do the same thing. You can make it and, and rub it on, but it is like, it gets all over everything. It's, if you blow on it, I'm trying to be careful. If you blow on it, it'll be all over the place. And I'm not, you can see it's full. <laughs> I'm not a fan. This is not a fan of mine. I like using these because they're just so much cleaner. Um, that kind of reminds me of glitter in a way. It can just get everywhere. Um, you can take like tape or something like that and get it up, but it's just really aggravating. And it's pretty, but it's it will it will kind of come off. It's not like this. This will not come off. It is not going to come off of there. And that's what I like about it. But we have, oh, there's one more. I did die cut with sticky paper. I wanted to see how that would work. Now, Yeah, this is the sticky part. <laughs> it's probably going to get on that tape too, but that's all right too. So we'll do the blue. take this tape off, being careful not to tear the butterfly. There we go. And that's from a punch on sticky paper. And that works real good too. Um, but you can make these and put them on cards. Now, I even thought that if you had, um, if you're a painter, you could get you a small tip and you could paint like with this tacky over and over and let it dry and then put it onto your uh, canvases and it's going to stay. Um, but you could do little designs in water and you could have it as a silver or something that would just spark. Um, if you were doing a mermaid, you could do a mermaid and, and put that on there. You know, it really will work. So there's lots of options. And you've seen it. Um, we'll do one more like this. And it's a way of using up your scraps because, you know, we won't get the most out of our art and our supplies. And you, if you don't have something like this, you could use the roller. The 
So either one of them will work. And look at that. It's just pretty. You could do, I don't know if it's got any more sticky on it. Now you could do a two-tone. You could um, cover it up with tape and do one side one color and pull it off and pull the tape off and do one side the other color. So there's all different ways of doing Happy accidents. <laughs> no mistakes. And I, I think it's pretty. This is really pretty. I'm very happy that um, I thought. And it all started with my mat from Cricut. It all started with this because I accidentally see it. It's very, <laughs> and it went on my mat, and I thought, oh, goodness, I've heard others say they never get it off, and that's when I thought of doing this. So, uh, you know, try it out. It's, it is very reasonable. It's, it's not real expensive. You don't have to have no heat. That's what I like. No heat. You don't have to have anything. And it will do a number of different objects. It does not come off. It And it just is so shiny and so pretty. I'm really glad it worked with the wood. Um, I have a lot of wood dies that I've made. And that's going to be pretty. But uh, you've seen how to do it. I, I really uh, appreciate you following me. When I see anything like this, I'll try it out and uh, make a video on it so you can see it. And uh, God bless each of you. Take care. Until next time, keep crafting. Bye for now.